Operative effect active. Gnosis materialization complete. It's 
punch. This ship is about to capsize. Please make haste. Wait, Cosmos. Cosmos, do... Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! You have no right to go about killing people! Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Furthermore, the escape pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? Shion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod, or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets.
been exterminated. Affirmative. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. What a mess. Whoever it was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony. How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Yep. We're the only ship within a 5,000 light year radius. All right. That should be enough. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. 
You know, Captain, I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? If the Feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the Feds aren't gonna patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron. What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. We're recyclers, damn it. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep, we're vultures. What was that? Spectra matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right, not bad. Let's start with that one. Ugh! That's not a geocrystal, you idiot. It's a corpse. Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron. What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Captain, this is so typical of you, making us do all the dirty work. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ah, a talking corpse. You moron. Open your eyes. That ain't no corpse. This ain't happening. This ain't happening. It, uh, it's a realian or a cyborg. Something like that. But I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue? Oh! Uh, <clears throat> so... Is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this mess, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh, yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, second Milsha, have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. The Elsa's forward window can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. Punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent. One more strike and this window will shatter. 
It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Ah, okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it! Don't be so rash! Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved 1 minute 45 seconds. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah, right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. <sighs> She's got us, Red. Shut up. Hey, Captain, I've got someone on the open channel. Who could it be? Survivors? Oh. Uh, hold on. I'll put it on the speakers. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now, where could she be? How would I know? Besides, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. I'm not worried about that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Forget about Cosmos. What about us? Well, if I knew this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're still around. You think? I can't believe you. Alan, how can you be so insensitive after all that's happened? What do you mean? Of course I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. Think that I'm an emotionless android? For you to even think that is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? What the hell? Huh? Uh, hey! Xion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Cosmos, just what are you up to? I am commandeering this ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going where? Wait a second! What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Therefore, this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical conclusion. Wait a second! What guarantee do we have that the Federation will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? The two of us will starve to death inside this pod! You can't do this! Actually, suffocation would come first. Your air supply will be depleted in 46 hours. Oh, in that case... Suffocation?! That is correct. But there is a 96% probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, but this is not a certainty. Uh, but... There's no way I'm going to allow this! You cannot act on your own, Cosmos! Bring us on board immediately! There is no time for this. I am signing off. Xion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos! You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? 
What? What are you doing, Chief? Please, don't do anything crazy. Be quiet, Alan. Listen to me, Cosmos. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? After all, you're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? You are delaying me from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Why not help her? <sighs> Sounds like she means it. Hey, Chaos. You're up. With all this racket, who could sleep? So, is that okay with you? Well, it looks like she doesn't have any objections. So, it's all up to you, Captain. What do you say? Think we ought to rescue them? Uh, well, if you say so. Sure, I don't mind. Tony? Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant Cosmos may have caused you. Come on, Ellen. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You ought to save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Thank you, Chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides, too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Hey, Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Millship by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos? Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Uh, yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? Please, Xian. This is part of your job, is it not? I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. 
I do apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's all right, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. You got that right. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Uh-huh. Uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. Never mind her, at least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human, she's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. Captain, any chance of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day, and getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. Still lurking around. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch! What did he just do? Well, that's what I meant when I said he looks out for us. Looks out for you? How did he just do that? I've never heard of a human that can defeat Gnosis. There are those who draw well, and those who run fast. Hammer's navigational skills are top-notch, and his knowledge of the net is vast. Tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled. No one even comes close. Or so he claims. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Xion, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. Ah. I see. Right. I think I get it. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. Yep, that's how it is. That's all the... What the... How can you be convinced by that? That was a Gnosis, Chief. A Gnosis! Well, Captain, we'd better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Captain, you don't actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. There's a world of difference between the two. 
It's all about reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why, you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then, I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. Damn! Today's been one hell of a day. Master Wilhelm, I have a report from Cosmos. Jean Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the prime directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest... Gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. <laughs>